So my name is Adam Godwin, uh, I teach here in the School of Computing at Glasgow Clyde College. Uh, my specialism is software development and I do things like app security and uh, things around data science, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, my favourite thing about the course is a mixture of interacting with students and getting to see students Coming maybe at an early stage, say like a level five, level six course, and then seeing them progress and learn and maybe leave on a sort of level eight HND course. I also enjoy getting my hands on like new technology, so things like artificial intelligence and uh, cybersecurity things as well. So in the first year, um, it's quite a broad um, range of units that you cover. So everything from coding uh, so that you've got an introductory unit on coding uh, and then another one that goes into a bit more detail. Um, but you've also got uh, units on team working because any business that you're going to work in or organisation, you need to be able to work in a team even as a software developer. Uh, and then we've got units on sort of troubleshooting problems and using a sort of methodical approach for that. And then also things around like ethics and professionalism. Um, but as the course progresses, it becomes more and more specialised in HND software. Um, as, you, as you get into the second year, it gets more advanced. So we look at more advanced ways you can break your code down. And by splitting your code into different parts, it means if we were working in a team, you could work on part, I could work on another part. I can make sure my part works before I give it to you. What I would say is um, we're really keen about you learning the, the principles here as well that are gonna serve you well for like the next 30 years in your career. So if you can learn how to design good software, those, those principles aren't gonna change. Yeah, so being technology, um, it's a rapidly changing environment. So we're always having to adapt to different technologies coming out, different languages for programming. Um, the big, big change recently is the emergence of deep learning. Um, so it's sort of subfield of AI that's really all these breakthroughs we're seeing in the last decade are coming through this kind of thing so that that's really changing um, our subject as very current now and um, things like chat GPT that technology isn't something that we know about as computer scientists it's now on the general public's knowledge and everyone's talking about it. it's in every uh, publication that you see and I think there's been a real moment where this technology of AI has like sort of uh, become on the conscious of the general public and, and that's going to grow massively and transform industry colossally. I think something that does differentiate ourselves is um, we, we do a cyber security competition. So it's uh, ultimately it's an international competition um, with a final that's held all around the world. Uh, but myself and uh, colleagues, we create the Cybersecurity um, UK competition. Um, and myself, I specialise in app security. So I create a lot of the resources and challenges for that, for the competition. So the, the thing that differentiates us is that we can spin a lot of those things out and embed them in our courses. Um, so I think students got a real advantage, particularly around things like app security. So we write, try to really instill that in our students. So software development is a real in-demand skill. Um, if you look at any report, um, it always cites uh, STEM subjects, in particular software development as a, a key skill going into the future. Yeah, so with HND in software development, um, there's a whole plethora of uh, things you can go into. Um, some go into web development, uh, app development. Um, some might go and specialise in, say, cybersecurity, but application side of that. Uh, there's also like a huge new field opening up to do with artificial intelligence and data science and um, if you look at universities now they're starting to have like pure data science AI courses and, and we're starting to tailor our courses to meet that as well.